In this part, we're going to look at one way to teach a grammatical structure. This is a revision lesson and the students have already had exposure to the structure being covered. This is my friend, John. Is he happy or sad? Sad. sad. Why do you think he's sad? He's, he's, got money. he's got no money. No, he's got no money. He's very sad. Poor John. So, he buys, do you know what this is? Lottery ticket. Lottery ticket, well done, yeah, it's a lottery ticket. What happens if you win the lottery? What are you? You're very rich. Rich. Now John dreams of being rich. He dreams of being rich and all the wonderful things he can buy. Okay? In fact, this is one of them, okay, we can say, if he was rich, he would, he'd buy a car. If he was rich, he'd, he would, he'd buy a car. Everyone? If he was rich. He would buy a car. Okay. He would? He'd. 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 If he was rich, he'd buy a car. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. Good. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. Pretty good. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. Okay. He would? Would. He would he'd 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 buy a gun. Okay, again. If he was rich, he'd buy a gun. If he was rich, he'd buy a car. Excellent. Okay. And a boat. Now the teacher uses other picture prompts and, as before, the students repeat the new sentence as a class and individually. This gives the students further practice of the structure. Is he going to be very rich? Is it likely? No. 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 Is it unlikely? Yes. Is it unreal or unlikely or a dream? Okay. Now, can you ask me the question about what I'm doing? What would, you, what would you do if you were rich? Yeah, very good. Stay with buy, because we're using buy. buy, okay? What would you buy if you were rich? Good. I'd buy a car, okay? Uh, Anna, can you ask me? If you were rich, what would you buy? Good, good, very good, okay. What would you buy if you were rich? I would buy a car. Excellent. I would? I would. I would? I'd buy a car. Excellent. If you were rich, what would you buy? I'd buy a castle. Good. If you were rich, what would you buy? This is John's girlfriend. She has different ideas about what she would do with the money. It's always the way. Okay. She doesn't want to keep the money. She'd give it away to charity. Okay? And she's giving it to charity, so would she buy a car? No. no. Let's have the negative all together. If she was rich, she wouldn't buy a car. Good. And would you buy a castle? No. no. Okay. If she, she was rich, she wouldn't buy a castle. Very good. Okay, we're just going to write it on the board. Okay, so you have something to take away. 
Can you give me the positive sentence, the first one that we had? If he was rich. Okay. <laughs> He'd buy a castle. And are these real or unreal situations? Unreal. Unreal, okay. And does anyone know the name of the structure? Second condition. Second condition. Okay, so it's second conditional and it's formed like this and we use it to express unreal or unlikely situations or dreams. We've concluded the presentation of the structure and ensured that students are comfortable with the form and meaning. Now we'll go on to practice the structure with controlled and free practice activities. In here I've got some mixed up sentences, okay? They're conditional sentences with a question and an answer. Okay, what you have to do is put them in the correct order. Okay, so this is yours. That's one sentence. It's two sentences. Okay, so in your groups you can. Talk in your groups about what you would buy if you were rich or what you wouldn't buy, okay? Just compare. What would you do if you were rich? What would you buy? Okay, you just move to there. What would you buy? In my country, what would you buy? Here we've got some interesting situations, okay, for you to discuss, okay, what you would do. For example, the first one is, what would you do if you saw your boyfriend or girlfriend's diary left open? Okay, so what would you do? Would you be honest and walk away? What would you do? <laughs> would, you be te would you read it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so definite. <laughs> yes. Very curious. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Would, who wouldn't read it? Would. You wouldn't read it. What if you knew that they would never find out? Or saw your name? <laughs> no, I don't no. think I could. Really you wouldn't? Think no. Yeah? I would. <laughs> Okay, this is the, the interesting thing. What I'd like you to do, there's some more questions like that on here, okay? What I want you to do first is write your answers, okay? Write your answers about what, in, your, in full sentences if you can, okay? About what you would do, first of all. And then you're going to compare in a group your answers, okay? Okay, if you've finished, just talk together to compare your answers.